What up, it's your boy Illa J, and we on uh, Backspin TV. Let's go. It's really good, y'all. The boy Frank Nick. Frank and Dank in the building. Detroit City. You see the D all on my hat. Backspin TV, what it do? Uh, for me, this is time number three, I believe. Uh, but I only performed twice. The uh, the first time I came, I was just passing through on my way to Copenhagen, and I went to a show and seen the Cool Kids. And Hamburg was popping. The Cool Kids concert was off the hook. Everybody was, like, drunken. It was great. So, uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, so three times for me. Yeah, this is actually um, my first time. Um, well, like, I've been, I passed through here before, but this is my first time actually being here. And uh, this will be my first show here. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. And, uh, I'm already having a little fun. I'm all... I'm a, what do you, what you call it? I'm a, uh, yeah, get my graffiti on. Uh, like he was a little young for those parts. Well, no, no, I, I remember, I, I forgot the, the yeah. technical <laughs> term. No, nah, no, nah, but no, nah, it, nah, it's 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 a uh, fun. But yeah, this is my first time out here though. For sure. Um, well, not yet. I haven't had any just yet. Uh, cause I haven't been here long enough. But you know what? I know people from here. So, you know, I already had a kind of a good vibe for the city because the friends that I had from here were really, really cool and really was like, you know, you got to come to Hamburg, it's off the chain. And even when I got here, a friend of mine is here was just like, yo, no matter what you do, get out, walk around and just see the people and see the city because it's really, really nice. So I had a good vibe for Hamburg before I got here. So, you know, for me, it's it's, it's dope. It's uh turning out to be true. The weather's nice. The people are nice. There's food right downstairs from where I'm staying, so it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> um, not not yet, but I'm I'm pretty sure by the end of this day, I'll, I'll definitely have one. <laughs> I got I got one. I got one. I actually put it on Twitter. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Frank Nit. Anyway, um, I was walking and we were looking for food, and like in the distance, I seen hamburger in big orange and blue letters, and all I could think was, oh my god. A hamburger. I'm gonna go have a hamburger. This is gonna be awesome. I got to the place. It was a damn bank. I don't. <laughs> I, I was. I was. I was shocked and stunned and hurt, and my stomach hurt a little more. And it was terrible, but it was funny to me. So, you know, go, don't get fooled by the hamburger bank in Hamburg. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, so that's my experience. There you go. Um. Yeah. You know, a, a few people like online. Because I, obviously when it dropped, I wasn't here. Uh, it was like, yo, I'm reading an article about you in Backspin. It's dope. And, you know, so I didn't, obviously I can't read it. It's in German. I didn't learn German in school. I went to French class. Go figure. Anyway, uh, so I can't read it, but I heard it was a really good article. And I, I am going to find someone to translate for me as soon as I get home. Translators. So uh, there's one part in the story, uh, story where you mentioned that you have uh, to hustle all the time because you don't want to work in a 9 to 5 job. Of course. Uh, is it still like that? Um, well, yeah, I definitely don't want to work a nine to five. And uh, no, but yeah, uh, I'm considered an underground MC. So for most underground MCs, it's a hustle to only do music. So you got to be a very, uh, how do we say, crafty with the things you do and how you make money and where you spend money and all of these good things. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a hustle until you get that, that, that hit record that you know, takes you over the top and the money outweighs the work. And that's rare. You know what I mean? It's only about four artists that actually can say, yeah, I make so much money based on how the little bit of work I do. It's crazy. Like there's two or three guys, right? Like, and everybody else has to work. It is what it is. And you know, so yeah, the hustle's always there. I don't, even when I got a billion dollars, I'm still gonna hustle. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, Actually, if I'm correct, it should be dropping really, really soon. I just finished the album with Mad Lib. So there's a Mad Lib Frank Knit uh, Medicine Show album coming out. Uh, it's called Welcome to Knitville. And uh, so it's it's I've been listening to it for the last week or so. It's really crazy. Mad Lib's a genius. So uh, that's coming. And I'm also finishing up um, a new record of my own. I'm doing all the production on it. Um, just finishing the records now I got maybe 12 in the tank I want to get a few more and uh so it's tentatively called stadium music but I'm gonna change the title the title's already actually been changed but for now it's just stadium music and uh 
that's coming soon, very, very soon. I'm, I'm making Illa J give me some more songs, so I'm working on that. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, so we got those two projects. And Jewels in My Backpack just dropped on vinyl and CD uh, February 25th, I think it was. And uh, a mixtape that I did all the production on, uh, Shut the Fuck Up, the mixtape, STFU, the mixtape, um, was you can get it for free when you buy Jewels in My Backpack. So that's also out there as well. So, you know, I got a few things going. Oh man, I like everything. Like I think there's great uh, 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 mainstream artists and great underground artists, and I think there's artists on both sides that suck horribly. And and you know, but it is what it is. I, I'm sure those artists probably think I suck. So whatever. But uh, like you know what I mean? Like I, I think good music is good music. It doesn't matter if it's on the radio or you found it uh, on a mixtape from some kid on the street. If it's good, it's good. So I don't, I don't discriminate. I, music is music. Yeah, Illa J. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, I mean, you know, the homies, the, the, the people that I, because I, it's odd to say, but I get most of my new music from either radio or TV. I don't really have time to search because I'm creating something for people to search for. You get what I'm saying? So I don't have time to really search. So the music that comes directly to me most times are from my people. So I'm listening to Illa J new stuff and, and New Slum Village and, and you know, uh, people out of the D that I know, that I respect. And then, you know, I'm on the West Coast, so I'm, I'm getting a lot of Wiz Khalifa now and, uh, you know, just a lot of West Coast new music and things of that nature. So, like, I don't know that there's one artist that stands out as an underground artist that I listen to, because I'll listen to anybody as long as it's good. Oh man, country, I listen to pop music. Uh, I'm really into pop music right now, like a lot of stuff you wouldn't imagine, like Avril Lavigne and, and, uh, 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 and Pink, and, and because, you know, their melodies are crazy, and just, you know, I'm just trying... I love music, you know what I mean? So it's tough to, uh, to kind of put it in a box. I listen to whatever strikes me, you know what I'm saying? So right now, a lot of rock music going around and uh yeah, my lady friend listens to a lot of rock and country music. So I've been listening to a lot of Shania Twain and the Oak Ridge Boys and this <laughs> like craziness, but it, it's dope. You find dope stuff in that, you know what I mean? So yeah, I was just and I listen to a lot of like pop and punk music, all type of stuff. I just put this young man up on the B52s. That's a really old group, but if you go back and look, a lot of the style that's out today came from them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the things that, that people wear, the things that they do, a lot of the Lady Gaga stuff, uh, the B-52s was doing it, the, the animal prints and all that craziness back then. We got live paint going on too. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, yeah, like, you know, it's crazy. We was actually talking about that the other day. Uh, well, it started... Pretty much, we were out in Cali. This is like oh nine. No, no, actually early. No, no, actually early oh nine. And um, like me and Frank chill out in Cali. We like okay, we need to. Pretty much, Frank like yo, we need to put a tour together. We like okay, bam. And then literally five minutes later, he was like yo, delicious donuts. Like that's the story, literally. And then pretty much a couple months later, we had a we had our first um. Our first show, it was at the Root Down. That was the preview of it. And then later that December 09, we had our first uh, Europe tour, Delicious Donuts tour. So this uh, only it's pretty exciting that, you know, we still doing it and, you know, making progress with it. So, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, well, well, like, you know, like me, me and Frank were doing shows for a minute now. So it's like, you know, it's it's like pretty much touring with my brother. So it's like... Um, it's fun, and not only that, you know, like, you know, when it comes to our show, you know, it's serious. It's not, you know, it's no no games. Of course, once we get on stage, it's, it's all fun. But it's like, you know, it's, you know, we take it serious, the the energy level that we bring, because we want to bring a we want to bring a great show. We want people to come out and be like, yo, like, dang, that's, they, they rocked the house tonight. But, you know, um, definitely, like, I vibe off his energy. You know, vice versa. You know, it's like I see him out there killing it on stage. I'm like, oh, dang, I gotta go. I gotta go smash now. But you know, but I mean, definitely, it's, it's fun touring, and you know, I like it's just fun, like feeling that energy from from all the from the crowd.
Yeah, um, at the time, um, I just recently released um, an EP called Four Past Midnight, and you can find that on iTunes and Rhapsody, all the digital sites. I did a digital digital release only on that, and I'm almost finished, like literally this this close with my album. Uh, okay, so this project, you know, it's like it's Illa J joints too, but then I'm introducing my alter ego, John Regal, and that's, you know, more on the singer side. Like even though... I sing, you know, in the LJ mode too, but John Regal, he just has a different style as, you know, as far as like how he approaches music, you know, but it's like, I, I wouldn't be able to put it into a box uh, or categorize it, but I would just say like, you know, like definitely look out for the, the new John Regal, LJ, AKA John Regal project. It's gonna, it's gonna be fresh. I'm, I'm excited about this project. Um. Honestly, like just like Frank, it would be hard to like pinpoint like a specific group, but I could just name the first couple that come to my head. And I, of course, it's going to be obviously Dilla, um, Prince, Stevie, Al Green, Marvin, Sam Cooke, um, and then you go on the rock side, Nirvana, Pink Floyd, uh, I'm trying to see Bob Dylan, the Beatles. Well, I mean, that's just like I said, that's that's a few. Like I could go <laughs> on forever, you know, but like. No, nah, I mean, it's, I, lo I love music. Like, that's my, my heart, my soul. Uh, well, like, well, well definitely, um, and, but I would say it started with my dad. Like, my dad was the one that, like, you know, instilled that foundation of music in the household and, you know, taught me and my brother so much about music. He was playing, you know, that's where my brother get a lot of his, his funk from as far as on the drums. My, my dad was always playing James Brown records in the house, so it's like that funk and that soul and the jazz, all of that, was just, it was just something that was just in the household.